Hello everybody, my name is Keltkelf, aka Wouter. This is a new game where we're gonna play and called the Book of Unwritten Tales. If you see, I've already played the game just for testing. So we're gonna go for a new game, Chapter One. Chapter One Pro. Logic Prologus Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain a decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No. I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle with the Archmage's men? Doesn't he know how... So then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist. Adventurer and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Abister. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh well, we're several days away from the wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the elf burrow. Oh, then? If it was left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day. knotted tightly. I could use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Hello, you there? Who are you? My name is... Never mind, there's something you have to do for me. What am I talking about? It's not just for me, it's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care, this has to do with everyone! Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. I've discovered something, something important. And they want it? No, 
Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? You may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay then, I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. No! We've got no time to lose. You! You must take this ring. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days if need be. The pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Perhaps I should just release you and we'll do without the pain and death bit. That would, of course, also be an option. Less dramatic, but if you insist, I can hardly stop you. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bones. But it's not a bad idea. On the way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be... Uh, here, if you need me. No idea what's going on here. But I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Oh, this is too tight. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. I can't reach the support strut. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. My kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. I fear that could be true. Kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Marcus. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Archwitch? How did she know that you'd made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Archmage. I must have caught him. If I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. A whip? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope.
I'll just carry on then. You wait here. Perhaps I can reach the strut using the gremlin's whip. Perhaps I can reach the strut using the gremlin's whip. Yeah, okay. Perhaps I can reach the strut using Perhaps I can reach the strut yeah, okay. using the gremlin's whip. But how we do that? That's not a question. And it seems like this time. What is it? Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Then it must be magic. Hmm? If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly? Magic! Yes, last question. Can we talk through this plan again, just to be sure? You come up with a way to release the cage. As soon as we're flying close to the ground in the White Ridge Mountains, you let me and the cage drop, and then jump yourself. Do you think you'll survive the impact? I hope so. The dragon will have to fly close to the mountain peaks. There are lots of pine trees and snowdrifts there. And chasms and canyons and rocks? Yes, yes, I know. But I've got to get back to my cottage and get the book from my cellar. They mustn't get their hands on it. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. We can find out next time how we use the whip. So I say until later. And it show. First we do that. We're gonna save. Just write it over with this one. And now we're gonna quit. I say, echo.